Nice. Donnie! <laughs> Al Pacino, huh? Oh. Hope you Anthony. I was just watching that the other day. Well, uh, just before <laughs> we came back, we were looking at the Speed Racer reviews. Wow. Is everyone excited? Speed oh. Racer opens today, huh? Who's going? Wow. 33% uh, positive reviews on RottenTomatoes.com. Racing toward bombdom. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the papers here in New York just killing this movie. Just killing it. People are disappointed. They thought it was a documentary about Harry Chapin. <laughs> <laughs> topical, huh? Yes. More topical than Harry. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have been excited oh, about this topics. speed racer. Oh. Yeah. Uh, about the Speed Racer movie, and uh, woof. We waited for nothing, man. I've got to be honest with you. I didn't even care. Didn't like, care it wasn't about one this of one? those. I wasn't a big Speed Racer uh, fan. Like, when I was a kid, it was on. I'd watch it, but I wasn't like, I'd rather watch the good Warner Brothers, you know, see animals smashing each other over the head with frying pan. I know why you weren't. And watch Speed Racer just go, oh, 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 oh. You weren't a big fan because the animation sucked. Yeah, it was horrid animation. The idea was pretty good, but the animation blew. Yeah, there was a period of time where uh, animation just completely sucked. It was one still plate, and then if the mouth had to move, they would just move the mouth. So the character would just be standing there. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, Speed. What are you going to do? Ah! And then what? They got a little chimp chimp thing and and the little kid that would always like get him out of trouble. And Racer X, who was Speed's brother, but it was a secret. How do you remember all this? Yeah. Jeez, for something I really hated, I kind of know about it. <laughs> I, I think I saw this twice while I was growing up. Chim Chim, I think it was. Yeah. Um... Yeah. But anyway, I I mentioned Speed Racer just before we went back live, and Jimmy turned to us and said, I went and saw 88 Minutes, you know. Yeah! And that would, and that would be the Al Pacino movie that was on the shelves for, I think, a year or two years. They finally decided to release it to horrendous reviews. It made, I think, like $2 million in the box office, just some awful number. We've been teasing it for weeks. We've just making yeah. fun of it for weeks. Yeah, and you finally, you said you had to go There's see it. Only one theater in Manhattan is playing it anymore, uh, not the one by our place. I had to go to 42nd Street and watch it. It was, uh, it was uh, you know, the gang theater, but it wasn't that. The theater was fine. It's a little teeny theater. It was like, you know, a 60-seat theater. And it was, it, it actually could have been okay, because Pacino was subpar. He wasn't good. You know, he was he was he, he was walking through it. With was he yelling Pacino or was he a uh, subdued Pacino? It Which one did we get Pacino. in this movie? Awful, awful Pacino. Pacino? Even okay. awful Pacino is serviceable in a movie, but the wig he wore was. Hel- I wanted to take it off and look under it, like it was the hood of a. It looked like the hood of an old car. <laughs> <laughs> Big hairy hood. And everybody uh, else in the movie, there was not one other recognizable name. It's it's collectively the worst. It's the worst uh, written movie I've ever seen. The story was terrible. What's the story? He has 88 minutes to solve his own murder or yeah, something? Yeah, it's Jack but he's Ram. Not, but he's not dead yet. So. No. What? He, he keeps getting these uh, these calls because he puts a serial killer in jail. It was just cornball. Oh, God, that sounds like yeah, one of those typical garbage movies. But when he puts the serial killer in jail, the guy from the, uh, the, at the witness table, he's a psychologist who testifies, and the guy goes, tick tock doc. Tick tock doc. Like when he goes to jail, that's what he says. Uh, and uh, you never get tired of hearing that. Every <laughs> phone call he gets years later. And uh, it's so bad. And uh, he, he's like, someone calls you, you got 88 minutes to live. And he's a psychologist, a psychiatrist who teaches a class in a, in a college. And all, all of a sudden, it's, he's suspicious of all of his students. And uh, he's putting all the clues uh, together. And the girl he was involved with wound up dead. What's going on? We don't know. Oh, it was horrendous. Wait, so he continues teaching even though he has 88 minutes to live? Wouldn't you like. Sounds familiar. Wouldn't you just like hop a plane to like the Caribbean or something? And then I think you would add some time onto your life. I said, why don't you. Because now the guy has to look up flight schedules and, and who's flying to this island and blah, blah, blah. How Why would you continue teaching? How about you go hang... And then he's walking into the garage and his car is smashed. 72 minutes written on his car. So he peeks around and he's walking through the garage looking for whoever might have a gun to kill him. Hey, stupid, how about you go to the police station <laughs> and tell the police there's a man who's making inappropriate calls. Can I hang out here for a couple hours? I liked the movie mm-hmm. when it was called Crank. The plot of uh, exactly D- like DOA? It. Yeah. It's the plot of like five or six different yeah, movies. yeah. I'm just trying to remember because there was one that sounds that this sounds exactly like, I was like with the teacher, the whole thing. Well, Crank was very similar to that. And being suspicious of the students, and uh, I don't know. And then at the end, bad. it ends with some woman 
being thrown off of like a ledge or something? This woman was. It, this it ended because the killer would like suspend you. Oh, he, please don't tell me what happens. Oh, Wait, I, I honestly think I saw this. No, you didn't. How did I see this? It, 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 like he would suspend you. The yes, suspend you. Maybe in a drunken stupor, you you staggered into a movie theater <laughs> and you're just remembering so. that you went and saw it. I really didn't see this, and it just came out, right? Yeah, and, and uh, at, at the end, he's is it a remake, baby? And there's two girls captive, and the one girl's hanging. Uh, she's suspended by her foot. Yeah. And, uh, Dude, uh, how did I see this movie? The cornball killer gives everything away, and uh, well, I knew if I did this, you'd do that. And he's like, ah, it was so well, bad. Yeah, I'm well, really trying to figure this w- out. Without giving away sources, uh, this movie has been around for a while, and someone may have. Maybe I got like a bootleg. Uh, maybe. Maybe, because, I mean, that would be something like, wow, an Al Pacino movie. i got to check this out, sure. When did he jump the shark? Because now when I hear that Al Pacino's in a movie, yeah! I, I don't run out and, and go see that movie No, anymore. you used to. It was but a there was see. a time, Al Pacino, oh, my God, you got to see this. Not anymore, though. What do you think, Ann? Around Sea of Love? <laughs> sea of Love? When the voice changed. No, no, because, oh, when, oh, the, when wait, the voice wait, changed. But even when, when the voice yeah. changed, he still was uh, putting out some quality products or quality movies. 97, maybe, then after Devil's Advocate. I love Devil's Advocate. Devil's yeah. Advocate was good, but we were just goofing on how over the top he was with the speech he, he, he's giving at the end. That God, it's a big joke! Look, don't touch! <laughs> touch, but don't taste! <laughs> taste, but don't swallow! <laughs> Why was do you have to do that? How hot was that? that he was sticking his tongue out. How hot was that busty woman that was supposed to be, what, his sister oh, or yeah, daughter yeah. or whatever the hell the, the relationship Vanity, was. my favorite sin! <laughs> right. And, Is and, it? And she was on the altar all all looking all busty and bosomous. What <laughs> happened to... That man is Luca Brasi. Yeah. Yes. He works for my father. Well, that man's Luca Brasi! <laughs> works for my father! <laughs> What did he do? What did he see that said? He went like, I think that's what I want to do now for the rest of my career. I, is yell in a gravelly voice instead of a little, you know, Michael. I have a theory on that. It, to do the voice again. What, the uh, the younger one? Yeah, as you do that, your, mouth is, I could, your mouth is barely opening. Yeah, right barely now. opening. I know it's almost like someone is ashamed of their... Uh, now who's being naive, Kate? I, I think I think you're doing the voice of someone that might be ashamed of a lot of food pockets and 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 smells and oh, bad and then, breath. And then he went to a good dentist and he was able to. Ah! Thanks a lot, Doc. Now I can open my mouth. I'm minty fresh, <laughs> and you ruined my career. When, when you talk like this, you know. yeah. When he's like that, I'll take the gun. I'll go in. I'll Every, shoot him. That, I'll shoot the Turk and the cop. That's a sign of bad breath, I'm thinking. Yeah! Ah, uh, yes. Anyway. <laughs> and then Keanu Reeves' accent is going in and out. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm the devil's son. And next minute he's talking like perfect Northern American accent. <laughs> what are you doing? He gives man <laughs> instincts. He gives you this extraordinary gift. And then what does he do? I swear... For his own amusement, his own private cosmic gag reel, he sets the rules in opposition. It's the goof of all time. Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't taste. Taste, don't swallow. (laughs) And while you're jumping from one foot to the next, what is he doing? He's laughing his sick ass off. He's a tight ass. He's a sadist! <laughs> it's just the yelling Pacino. <laughs> I just, l- I don't know why I love that stupid movie. It is a good movie. Oh, I, I, I really like that movie. I, I, uh, this might be a little too inside, but you see my uh, my arm, the hair standing straight up? <laughs> yeah. That sounded like Mel Karmazin, man. We've been, oh, we've God. Been yeah, wait that, a minute. We've been in front of that voice a few times. <laughs> How do I tell the stockholders <laughs> right. that my afternoon show's going after my morning show? <laughs> You can look, listen, but don't goof on him. Right. <laughs> goof on him, but not on the air. <laughs> he can goof on you. You can't goof on him. Oh, my. I'm not even joking. Remember? <laughs> Remember that famous meeting where we looked out the window and all we saw was 666? It was, yeah. It was very much like Al Pacino's uh, character <laughs> that <true>. day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What were you thinking? 
uh, yelling oh. Pacino. <laughs> and Jeffrey Jones was a creepy head lawyer. You know, old Mr. File Trade with Huey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mr. Naughty Youngster well, File Trade. He got his. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, what a creep that guy was. Can you do Al Pacino as, uh, as, uh, as Mel doing the famous line, when you wake up? When what you... time do you wake up in the morning? And decide. Wait, let me get my little. All right, you got to get all set there. Oh, damn it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you know, it's off the cuff. What can I tell you? What time do you wake up in the morning and decide, I'm going to f*** Malcolm is that? <laughs> it's a loaded question. Yeah, I can't I'm, answer that. I don't know. If I give you a time, that means that I am indeed thinking, how am I going to f*** Malcolm is But if I don't I don't answer, give a time. Right. She's asking for a time. Not if I think about. It's the Mel Karmazin. It's the question that doesn't have a good answer. <laughs> Those questions are horrible. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, Screaming Pacino. Uh, I like the subdued Pacino better. Yeah, of course. Author, author. Oof. <laughs> Oof, uh. That was a good one. <laughs> I, yeah. That was between Stone's Ball, it was way before Scarface. Yeah. Uh, that was a 79, I think. A lot, of, a lot of people say Incentive of a Woman was when he uh, changed real fast. Andy and Queen. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> Yeah. Hi. Hey, Andy. What's up, buddy? Hi. How are you? Mm-hmm. Uh, the reason Al Pacino screamed, started screaming in movies is because he won the Academy Award for doing it in Sense of a Woman. No. No, it was before that, dude, because he was screaming. Every movie he had a big uh, scream scene, and he screamed in, uh, in Justice for All. He always had a big monologue, or usually did where he would uh, would he yell. That he would, I think Injustice for All might have started that. Uh, Dog Day Afternoon, he screamed through. Well, which was great, though. Yeah, yeah but it was still that, that weird was really, voice. Yeah, it was younger. It was but still that, the younger that, voice. But that sounded real. That was real screaming. I think like, his voice changed. I think he heard his voice. Really? really? He smokes. He's a smoker. And I think all that screaming, all those takes, heard his voice. I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that <laughs> oh, was brutal. Yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> but that was funny, though, when he, go, when he called for the two guys. F you, too. That was... <laughs> So you sat through all 88 minutes? Ooh, ah. Was the movie 88 minutes? <laughs> no, it wasn't. I wish it were. Uh, oh, okay. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. All right, I want to move on to other things. Sure. <laughs> I'm a fan of man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. Totally. Got to see that again. No, it's wonderful. We might have to do Al Pacino Day and get all the clubs together. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Kent, the movie guy. Kent. Hey guys, you know I think uh, it had it, Pacino started really screaming when he delivered the famous "They're pulling me back in" line in Godfather Part Three, because I remember seeing press junkets back then where everyone was making him say the line because it was in the trailer and it was all over mm. TV, mm. and that's when I think everyone was like, "Oh, do that again," because that movie, even though everyone thinks it sucks, still won the Academy Award for Best Picture. What year? Wait, Godfather Three made. Won the Academy Award. No, well, of course it didn't. What did you... No. So it wasn't even nominated. You're a, you're a crazy person. I thought Kent was the movie what guy. Huh? What? No, seven nominations. Seven nominations really? for Godfather 3, well, but was, it didn't win wrong. anything. It didn't win Best okay. Picture, that's for sure. No. How did that get nominated for anything? It was terrible. What, what won uh, Best Picture that year? We'll find out in a second. Mm. It had wins, but it was, it was certainly not for uh, Best Picture. No. What did Sofia Coppola get nominated for? Uh, worst, worst actor the worst. of the decade. God Almighty. Jesus. Actress, whatever. Uh, thank you, Kent. That might be where it all began, though, that famous line you from think? Godfather 3. That doesn't seem like it's that. I mean, I know it it's before, old. I'm but, telling you, it was before that. Yeah, I think it was before that. He was yelling in Sea of Love. That was the yep. first time I noticed it. Not as over the top as it became. Yeah. But it had changed. Uh, what happens in Vegas also? Comes out today. Ooh. Another movie getting really bad reviews. No. Ashton uh, Kutcher's latest book. Oh. This guy's uh, making bomb after bomb after bomb. But you know is what? It financed by his uh, broad. Is she the producer of this one, too? Is that, is that Dem what's going Demi? on? Demi. Yeah, she uh, she winds up being the producer of a lot of the stuff he does. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds fun, though. He's <clears> with him <throat> and Cameron Diaz. You know, something happens in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> it stays oh. there too, though. Well, I allegedly, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I can't wait to see it. I know. Will it stay? Won't it stay? Who knows? They both smile a lot. Thank God. <laughs> it looks I like know. a fun rock. I bet I it all you. works out in the end too. Oh, come on! From your lips to God's ears. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Worst slogan ever. Unless you come up with a, a worse one, or unless you're a tranny hunter. <laughs> I'm not, no, no, I'm, I'm speculating. No, 
but that's the funny part about that whole thing because, like, yeah, it should be for some horrific thing you're doing in Vegas, but it's 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 because you drank a little too much and be maybe pulled an all night. Oh boy, with the gals, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not hacksawing that hooker apart <laughs> right, in the right, bathtub right. of some as, seedy hotel as you're wearing the bunny suit. Yeah, this guy has to stay in Vegas. <laughs> right. So you got the chainsaw sound effect. This has to stay in Vegas. Yeah. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. It's covered in blood. <laughs> Chopping that hooker up. Yeah, that's... Now, now... <laughs> and now it's got to stay in Vegas. Now I understand the slogan. Yeah. Oh, I had one too many sea breezes. Right. Ooh, crazy me. I hope this stays in Vegas. But, what if the kids find out, right. hun? But if you're just a bunch of broads trying to live the sex in the city lifestyle uh, for a weekend, <laughs> ugh, please don't use what... What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Crap. Yeah. Oh, you know what else your, stays in Vegas? Your last period. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Betty Sue had a little, a little too much to drink last night. She got a little wild. <laughs> Did she? Went to a strip club. <laughs> she was gyrating all over the guy. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, she slipped a, a 10 down as a G-string. Oh, keep that under your head. Wow, don't, don't mention that when she gets back to the office. When we get back to... Sassy girl. When we get back to Des Moines, let's not talk about this. Oh, well, stays in Vegas, right, girls? <laughs> <laughs> Got a little crazy out there. Let's keep it among ourselves. Throw a toaster in the bathtub when they're in there. <laughs> they're all giggling around the, around the cooler yeah. at work. What happened, girls? Oh, no, <laughs> you know. You know, what, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, Charlene? Oh, stop. <laughs> it's just stupid older broads. Office yeah. biddies. They like stink. Fat legs crammed in a slack. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than fat legs and slacks. <laughs> Sensible shoes. Oh, it's enraging. Ugh. Uh. Were, you, were you cougar hunting in Vegas? You wow. Ugh. Cougars. Dried up skanks. Shut up. <laughs> uh, you want the trailer for what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? Who doesn't? Do, do I? <laughs> I don't want to marry you, Joy. And I'm leaving you. Well, I mean, this is my place, so technically you would be the one that has to leave. Joy just got... D oh, there's the... V I hate the formula of the movie trailer. Really horrendous. It, I, I, I loved this, the bad 70s movie trailers. Because it was all action. Yeah. Suspense. Well, well, no one happened. This is the guy that... Charlton got Heston in a planet of apes. Well, he... Like, that was rated M. Well, <laughs> this is the, monkeys. <laughs> this is the new guy, by the way. You know, we lost in a small town. Yeah. You know that guy was. Now awesome. it's this guy. Now it's uh, what's that? It's so much fun. He just sounds like he's smiling as he's talking because it's so funny. But I hate that you're right. The formula it, it stinks to high heaven because he'll go, and that's where it'll go boom, 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 and the music's up. Yeah, joke. Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. The yeah. formula stinks. Watch how it stops. They let you know the joke's coming. Yeah, the joke's coming. Silence. So joke. Back into the music. Yeah. and the dialogue. It stays. Joke in Vegas. Oh, it's so bad. Technically, you would be the one that has to leave. Joy just got dumped. Jack, you're fired. Don't get me wrong, you're like a son to me. Dad, I am your son. Jeff. There it, there it is. Man. That was it. What happened? Just what Jimmy said. What music happened? Stops. What happened? Music stops. Right. Joke. Right. Back into the music. Because what? only retards can enjoy this, so you have to show them when the joke is coming with the music. Yeah. Jack, you're fired. Don't get me wrong, you're like a son to me. Dad, I am your son. Jack just got canned. Where's the one place where you can step up and be a man? Community college. Where can you go? You can forget all your troubles. Vegas! Vegas! They were two strangers. I'm not usually this much fun! Look Ew! Ew! I would only like that if she was laying under five guys in a circle <laughs> and had a cracker on her face. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron Diaz. Yeah, see, she's 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 quite conservative until she gets to Vegas. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, and then she's crazy. It all comes she lets out. her hair down. Oh, watch <laughs> out! Front the back and the face. <laughs> By the way, she's uh, <laughs> she's uh, yelling that line from the sunroof of a limo because. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Not usually this much fun. Looking for a night to remember. <laughs> what they got was a morning after. <laughs> They'll never forget. Uh oh, what? Well, I'm going to need a divorce. Absolutely. We'll always have Vegas. That was my quarter. I put the quarter in the slot. What's mine is yours, baby. We're married now. Remember?
remember? That makes my kidneys hurt. Yeah. Um, see. Wow. So they got so crazy in Vegas that they got married. One <laughs> sec. Yeah. Not, yeah. Much, not much fun in Vegas. No. And then I guess somehow they both <laughs> put a coin in a machine and won the jackpot. And now they're, now now they're, it. Now they're stuck with a situation because they were just going to get divorced and, and be done with this whole Vegas experience. There's Man. more. But sure. now they're connected with each other because they won the big jackpot. Oh, Opie, wait till you hear Dennis, wait till you hear Dennis Miller as the judge. <laughs> oh no. I am freezing the three million dollars and sentencing you to six months hard marriage. Oh no, no. <laughs> oh that, no. That would you happen. Didn't. That no, would you happen. Didn't. Six months of hard of marriage. Hard marriage. Yeah, a bit quaffical. What? <laughs> At least they used words we understand. Yeah, they it's like it. when the Peloponnesians. Yeah, what the like who? That. The what? We get it. You're smarter than us. Hard marriage. Objection! Objection. Welcome home, sweetheart. If you want me to report that you're both working on your marriage, you're gonna actually have to do that. That's Queen Latifah, by the way. Fox and Regency Enterprises. That's Queen Latifah. If I can get Joy to be the one Sassy. to end the marriage, not only would you get out of the marriage, you will also get the full three million. Hi. Hi. Would you mind if we waited in here until the locks? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? I bet this ends with them actually falling in love with each other and staying married. Oh, no. Why are you ruining it? Ah, uh, sorry. I, I disagree. I'm going to take another guess. All right. What do you think? I'm going to guess <laughs> that they get they get the, the, the money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he takes her to a lake and ties a rock around her neck. <laughs> <laughs> and throws her and the script supervisor overboard. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds better, see? That's fun. We're all laughing. It's a comedy. Yeah. How I would love would, that. How hilarious <laughs> would that be, though? At the end, when they're married, and all of a sudden, they're on a romantic thing, and then he just chokes her. Chokes. Death, puts an anvil around her neck and throws her over. It just ends horrifically, without a hint of humor, <laughs> or not even dark humor, just a horrific murderous ending. Why couldn't you do that, though, in Hollywood? I don't understand why every stupid comedy has to have a nice message. Just caves and has her head in with a rock as she's yeah. laying there. And then just, and then and he throws her overboard, and then she she goes away, and then he goes, he puts the motorboard like, back to the shore, and he's singing, a tiddly diddly dee <laughs> And then the credits start rolling, and everyone's disappointed. <laughs> Everyone leaves just wondering I, what, what the hell they just saw. What was that? I, I, I've thought for forever that, like, somebody in Hollywood has got to step up and make one of these cute comedies like this it's pretty much what you guys are saying but i have thought this forever and then turn it into a horrific horrific horror movie horrid where yeah. people are like what the hell what just happened, happened? So the cutesy. Why aren't like, they brave enough so to do cutesy. that? I think I think the youth of America would eat up something like that. I can tell you why. I believe at least they say focus groups are the death. All oh, right, of, of everything. Theaters. Yeah, and these stupid focus groups, I guarantee you, wouldn't like that, and they would take it out. And they wouldn't take a chance, right? Uh, that you know the people would like it. Focus groups <clears throat> kill radio stations too. By the They're way, it's so yep. bad. Just get rid of all that crap. Because what you do is you remove the instinct of the performers and the creators of the movie or the radio show who know what's funny, and you get a small group of people, yeah. and you have to go by what they say. It's, yeah. it's enraging. It's too bad. Waited in here until the locksmith comes. There is a hot girl party going on in my living room, dude. It's a trap. No, this happens. No, it doesn't happen. A comedy about two people ah! with three million reasons to stay together. She doesn't seem so bad, Uncle Jack. For why, better. Wait, why, why is a dollar a reason? Uh, yeah. I, I guess, <laughs> I, I guess, like, so they have to stay married, and, like, if, if, like, someone screws up the marriage, then the other person gets the money, right? Yeah. Oof. So, so they're trying to set each other up because this scene is like two really hot girls just showing up at his apartment. Yeah. Or he's arrested for like that guy in the movie theater pouring bleach in her in her soda and giving it to her. <laughs> yeah. And her throat burns. <laughs> Another wonderful story today. You uh, believe this? No. You're falling for your wife, you idiot. Keep your eyes on the prize. Or for worse. Yeah. Huh? I, need, I need to look real so it seems like she was beating you. Jack, what happened to your face? supposed to line up the hand towels just so and I didn't I didn't do it I'm sorry I deserve it what happened there it was <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the guy didn't do it right <laughs>
Now, that would actually be funny if she had a black eye and said, what's wrong? And, she, and then she said, I'm supposed to do something and didn't do it. Right, exactly. That's the joke, but, but uh, they're uh, too scared no. to make that it's joke in Hollywood. Violence? You can't make fun of uh, domestic violence.